My name is Miss Jones, and I want to talk to you about using the cube strategy when solving story problems in math. So what is the cube strategy, you ask? Well, C in cube stands for circle the key numbers. If they are written in word form, write the standard form above the words. U means you need to underline the question. What are you being asked to solve? B, it's time to box any math action words. These key words will tell you what to do to solve the problem. E, you need to evaluate what steps you should take to solve the problem. Also E, eliminate any information you do not need. Finally, S, it's time to solve and check. Does my answer make sense? How can I double check my work? Let's take some time to see how my second graders use the cube strategy when solving story problems in math. You ladies mind if I ask you a question? Yes. What are you all doing over here? Um, we're trying to get the answer to the, the, the problem. What is that called? What kind of problem? Um, solving story problems using cube strategy. All right, and tell me what cubes is. What did you do? Um, first, we solved the problem using cubes. Mm -hmm. Then we solved the problem using the cubes. Then we solved the problem using the cubes. So we um, we circled the key numbers. All right, what's you? Question. All right, what does B mean? We box the math action words. What action words in that one? How many and all together. And all together lets us know we have to what? Add. Add. What does E mean for cubes? We evaluate. What do you do to evaluate yourself? We did the part, part, whole math. Very good. And the part, part, whole math. What, did you have the whole number and a part, or did you have two parts? Two parts. You put the parts together, and you're and you did so what? Just put the circles, and then put the fourteen under the circle. Okay. What does S mean in cubes? Um, solve and check. All right. How do you solve? We, we about to draw the picture right now. So okay. So y'all ready? What else do you do when you're solving? We're going to draw our number line. Oh, very good. And you draw your number line to do what? To check your math. Check yourself. What's the word for the word for the number sentence? What do we call that? An equation. Thank you for talking to me, ladies. Keep working. You're doing a great job. As a teacher, I find it very important to allow my students to collaborate regularly, discuss together, and also explain their work in their own words so they're able to understand what they're doing. Let's take the time to view another student's use of the cube strategy in solving word problems. Hi, Samira. What? Would you mind telling me what kind of math you're doing? I'm doing all right, using the cube strategy, what did you do first? I did, I did, um, I some pictures and then I used, I just take away nine and it shows me that it is 11 when I count. And that's true. All right, think about our cube strategy. What does C stand for? Because I see you did it. What did you do on your paper? C stands for circle the key numbers. Okay, and what was U? U is, uh, is to underline the question. All right, and what is B? B is to box, B is to box any math action word. What math action word was in that problem? Left. Left, and left lets you know you have to what? Subtract. Subtract. And I see you did your subtraction equation. Read the equation for me. 20 take away 9 equals 11. 11. Very good. How do we check ourselves? Did you check yourself? Yes. How did you check yourself? By, by going to show a part, part, whole math. Very good. All right. I want you to write your part, part, whole math and show me. Samir, you did a good job, baby. I find as a teacher that using the cube strategy is a great way to springboard your students understanding of how to solve story problems. We are well aware that math action words can be a little tricky at times. So don't rely fully on the cube strategy throughout your whole study of word problems. It's a great way to start off understanding and build upon that scaffolding your knowledge as students learn more about how to think and evaluate when solving story problems. I hope this was helpful to you. Have a wonderful year.